You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture with Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom and Dr. Frederick J. Long. Welcome and enjoy. Hello, welcome to Proof Text. This is Michael Halcom. I'm with Fred Long, and this is a Grammar Point episode. So we're still talking about participles. This is our third episode on participles, and I think we're moving away from active voice for a moment to uh, middle. So, Fred, uh, what do you want to talk about here? Yeah, well, we have to reframe our understanding of participles to be party Sipples. I mean, they're a lot of fun and they occur all over the place. And we better just make front, yeah, they occur every verse, it seems like, has a participle or, or two or three. Uh, they're, they're very common. And so just we need to lean into that. Uh, one way is to understand the patterns. And so that's why I'd like to focus, I've been focusing on starting the, with the endings. Uh, I ended last episode by saying, you know, the nominative forms occur a lot more than the other cases. So if you have to focus on one case to learn, go ahead and learn the nominative one. Um, Yeah, nominative one. So this time I wanted to focus on the middle formations and really the middle formation, middle or middle passive formations of the participles are extremely easy because they really build off simply the first and second declension endings, Mm -hmm. uh, which you should know from the article. The article uses the first and second declension type endings, adjectives, many beginning adjectives, and of course the nouns. So it is super easy. If you know those endings, you're going to learn the middle and middle passive formations of the participles very easily. The only thing you need to learn in addition to those endings, which you already know, is what I would call a coupling syllable or two, like this, this thing that's added before the ending. So you have the verb stem, then you have this coupling uh, syllables, and then you have the ending. Well, you already should know the endings. You already should recognize the lexical forms or the the stem forms. So what you just need to learn then is that coupling syllable that's in between. And for the present tense, it's omen. Omen, Omicron, Mu, Epsilon, Nu. So the masculine's gonna, the not masculine nominative singular is Omenos. The feminine is Omene. And the neuter is Omenon. Well, there you go. Then you can just work out the paradigm, the first, second paradigm. So this Omen plus those endings. For the aorist, it's Samen, Samen. Sigma alpha, which is characteristic of the first aorist, samen, and then os, samene, samenon. Well, there you go. There's the uh, aorist middle formation. Uh, then you have the perfect middle formation. Now, here the coupling syllable is simply men. So rather than amen or samen, it's simply men. And that men is always going to retain the accent. And it's going to hold it back, even though technically the accent could go further into the verb. So if you've learned accent rules here, this could help you out a little bit. Um, But even if you don't, if you see the men being accented and there's no Omicron or Sigma Alpha before it, plus there's a reduplication on it, then you're looking at a middle passive uh, perfect tense participle. So menos, mene, menon. And that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. These middle passive uh, and middle uh, formations of the participles really are quite simple. Just learn that coupling syllable and little accent rule with the perfect uh, and you'll be all set. And again, yeah, when I, oh, go ahead. I was the yeah. nominative forms. Yeah. Go ahead, Michael. I was just going to say when I'm, when I'm teaching through participles, uh, I really do hammer down on, you know, with the, the, um, active formations of the, the, um, und, you know, Omicron, you tav and, uh, us, the und and us. And then, yeah, with these middles, just the men, I like that idea of what you call it a coupling syllable. Um, really two syllables. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I think just dialing into those, it's super easy, especially for beginning students to just identify a participle. So one of the exercises I tend to do is I'll throw up, not throw up, but you know, I'll put up on, yeah, I'll put up on the, the screen, uh, a bunch of different participles and then just ask students, you know, uh, active masculine or active neuter, active feminine or, you know, or uh, uh, middle, you know, that kind of thing. And usually if they just remember that that and and us are active and men is middle, super easy. Participle, yeah. Participles aren't as terrifying as no. they're often made out to be, hence your no. participles um, yeah. comment. Yeah, I but, think people freak out because uh, there, there, there seems to be so many different forms and then the functions can be a little bit gnarly and people yeah. don't know how to do do that. And I think translating, they, they really get stuck. And that's what we're going to go to next. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Fred. And thanks, everybody, for listening. Hope that helps. Looking for creative ways to launch your biblical language studies to the next level? We here at Glosa House create resources with you in mind. We've created a stock of innovative and cutting edge audio, video, digital, and print resources to help you reach your language goals. Visit glosahouse.com to find what you've been looking for. Glosahouse, language resources for the global community.